All right. So your number 12 is Fight Club. We can get right into it because I know we don't agree. Yeah, I just I, I don't like it. I I, I never liked it. Uh, and, and I was kind of hopeful when, when I watched it this time around um, or I watched it a couple of years ago, like two years ago with my friend Jeff Richardson, a friend of the show. And uh, uh, I was like thinking, to me, like, you know, maybe this time, you know, maybe I was just hard on it back then, because I know there are certain things I've changed my mind on where like there was a period of time where I think I was you know, just like really, really into Roger Ebert and, you know, like kind of maybe listen to him a little too closely and or I was just maybe, you know, too up my own butt about certain things. I was like, all right, you know, I like Fincher. I'm a little bit older now. Maybe I'll Maybe I'll get this movie a little more. Like, no, I still don't like it. I think it's really pretentious. I think it's really obnoxious. I think the second half of the movie, or I think the first half of the movie promises something the second half doesn't really deliver. Which is Uh, what? Well, I think the first half of the movie is like, oh, you're going to, you know, you're going to figure out like who you really are and like what kind of person you are. You know, after the world's taken this all from you, you're going to find out, you know, who you really are. And the second half of the movie just makes everybody the same person going after one exact, you know, one goal entirely instead of like being your own individual person Eh, not that interesting so let's blow up a credit card building about it so i think that's a feature and not a bug i think i've heard that before yeah yeah so i this so i guess to me the difference is what is the intention and what are you taking away from it so like two weeks ago we talked about falling down and we talked about how that movie is a rorschach test and you can watch it a lot of different ways and you can think different things are cool about it and here what's interesting is that the people who watch fight club the wrong way is not how you watched fight club because you're not like oh it's cool that brad pitt did xyz that's not where you're coming from and i do think that is an absolutely wrong interpretation of this movie where you're coming from is brad pitt tried xyz and it sucks and ed norton tried xyz and it sucks i was watching that movie through the angry young boy lens when i was 17 18 watching this movie over and over and over again on dvd i was totally watching it that way in a similar vein to when i watched falling down in that way when I was younger and couldn't empathize with Barbara Hershey's character. And then now, now I think that's much more interesting. But here where I think is what I think is interesting is I think Fincher never wanted me to watch it the way that I watched it when I was a kid. And I think what's going on is, and it's especially interesting now, because I think that Project Mayhem is just Proud Boys nonsense. And we're supposed to look at it as Proud Boys nonsense. And we're supposed to look at it as an inability to deal with latent homosexual feelings because these guys are just all over each other the whole movie. And all they want to do is hug and thrust. Yeah, bump up against each other. I think that's totally intentional. And we're supposed to see them as frustrated young guys who don't know how to deal with what they're feeling. And in their attempt to be an individual, they're just all falling into the same grifter nonsense. They're all just listening to Andrew Tate, the modern version of this. This is what manliness should be. By the way, now you all have to be exactly the same. And it's boring and it's stupid. And it's going to make you not pursue women anymore, which has somehow become a thing again in real life. Like none of these guys in this movie are pursuing women. Yeah. Ed Norton throughout the movie is like, I need to push away from the fact that I'm attracted to Marla. And then Brad Pitt, his 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 impulse is doing what he wants to do and seems hypocritical, but it's not hypocritical. That's just what he should be doing. Whereas everyone else is just in this weird incel monastic life. And I thought that was interesting. The things that we think look cool on the surface, like Brad Pitt's leather jackets and his differing haircuts and his peeing in the food at work. If you look at it for more than five seconds, that that guy sucks. Oh, yeah. I mean, I definitely think Fincher made it with that intent. And like the like I said, the people who are watching it and thinking he's cool, they're they are wrong. And I don't think Fincher. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you on his intent. So but that just doesn't work for you. No, it just didn't come through for me. Like, I just feel like, again, like that the first half of the movie didn't set the second half of the movie up to be that it just didn't like I've heard that interpretation of it. And I don't necessarily even think it's wrong. It just didn't. I don't know. It just didn't connect that way to me. I know it just didn't read that way to me. So I know you've read Cinema Speculation, right? The Tarantino book. No, I haven't yet. I only know what page this is on because I read it last night. Check out page 49 into like page 53 of Cinema Speculation. Mm -hmm. Tarantino talks about audience misdirects coming from Don Siegel. Um, So Dirty Harry and like I watched, I read this last night because I watched Charlie Varick last night. Charlie Varick is an awesome movie. Everyone should watch it. It's on Tubi right now. So Tarantino talks about audience misdirection uh, and that Don Siegel was a master at it and he probably did it best in Charlie Varick, but he did it his whole career. And I think that's really what Fincher is going for here. He's not holding your hand. He's really misdirecting you into thinking that the movie is going to be about one thing and then it is about another on purpose. And where I think that shows most in Fight Club is the scene where Brad Pitt and Ed Norton get on a bus and they see an ad of a tough guy, you know, looking good in the ad. And they say like, is that self-improvement? The line is something like self-improvement is masturbation. Self-destruction is the answer, which is just to your point, so far up one's own ass. (laughs) But I think that's where he's telling you, stop. 
This movie is not about that. You are yeah. now supposed to understand that this guy has been doing it wrong for the first half of the movie. And the rest of the movie is going to be about how his life, him realizing that he has thrown away his life and started doing just the dumbest stuff, like thinking blowing up buildings is going to do anything to society. Like, I, I don't think at all the movie tells you that by blowing up the credit card buildings, they've actually made a difference. Right. Yeah. So anyway, it's my number five. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Right. We just, we disagree. We do. Um, 